The way we estimate duration has a lot to do with how much memory we've laid down, how much footage we have to draw from. And this simple fact lead, led me to understand something, which is, which is, why does time speed up as you grow older? Well, it's because when you're a kid, you're trying to figure out the rules of the world, and everything is novel to you. And you're, you're riding a bike, and you're trying out for the baseball team, maybe you're falling off a roof, you're doing all kinds of things, and you're writing down all these memories, and when you get to the end of a childhood summer and you look back, you have so many novel things. As you get older, you've figured out the rules of the world, which is advantageous for operating in the world, but things aren't that novel to you anymore. You've sort of seen all the patterns before. And as a result, when you get to the end of an adult summer and you look back, there's just not that much new. There's not that much footage to draw from, and as a result, the whole thing seems to have moved very quickly. And so, because I'm a biologist, maybe you were hoping that I'd tell you how to live longer, but instead what I can tell you is how to make it seem as though you've lived longer, and that is to seek novelty. And so, we're going to start this right now. So anyone who's wearing a watch in the audience, I'd like you to take your watch off and transfer it to the other hand. Right? What you're going to do is shake up your neural circuits so that things are new to you. And this helps to keep the brain active and to lay down new memories. What I want you to do is drive home a different route from work every day. Because otherwise, you've probably noticed that your drive to and from work shrinks to zero time. Right? You don't even lay down any memories of that anymore, and therefore it seems to take no time at all. Drive a different way home. When you get home tonight, completely rearrange your desk and your office space. And the main thing to do, which you guys are already doing a great job of, is make sure that you stretch your mental landscape by putting yourself in situations where you are learning something new. So the last surprise that we learn about time is if you want to slow it down, seek novelty.